It witnessed folks. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age. And he made him a tunic of many colors. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and could not speak peacefully to him. Verse number five. Now Joseph had a dream, and he told it to his brothers, and they hated him even more. How do you know what name from verse three up to five? Israel and the cover of our well water over a chiefness of yourself, a cook at the diva, who see our onokara, a major and go, ya can't, but common about you know, but she will not put the hour at the mufunessa, cover now, our water, but who went was chapono and was a wood in a year. Would I yourself for a lot of glory, a woodsa, Amen. Now when they saw him afar off, even before he came near them, they conspired against him to kill him. Then they said to one another, Look, this dreamer is coming. Come therefore, let us now kill him and cast him into some pit, and we shall say, some wild beast has devoured him. We shall see what will become of his dream. But she moved on a chekure, but as a two sick at sin, Valangana, Umulaha, Babuzanabari, is the no Uwana Ula Puzian Ulora, Go, Oshi. It is in the Rimuburai, Rimukutse in the Nilamati, Riri, Oliwa, Da Chivan, Rewardus in the Miloria way at the eat. Let us bow our heads. Jesus, if it was not because of your love and your faithfulness to the cross, we will not be here this morning. You are God above all other gods. The God who has got no beginning, the God who has got no ending, the Alpha and the Omega, the ancient of days, the God of the arm of Israel. Oh Jesus, may I decrease and you increase. Shut up, than the devil in it short. Mutsimonga Terra Benedictin, Mutsimonga Kate, the Mills of Tucho, Ufakabo, Mutsimonga never been read more fun. Cover to the Sebastian Tanaka, Mutsimonga to the world, and it will never turn into this champion. Guy is so crystal. Amen. Hallelujah. The topic of my message this morning, however, I tell about my children at Dwala Namusi, says, Here. A pit cannot stop the plan of, let me rephrase it correctly. A pit cannot stop God's plan and favor. Yeah. Yeah. A pit cannot stop God's plan and favor. But Hallelujah. Amen. From the passage of the scripture that we read this morning, we read about an interesting story. A well known story. A story about Joseph, the great man of God. But we see extraordinary things from this passage. God's favor. 
lazima it happened everywhere and the plan the plan of God as it doesn't matter whether you go through a pit it shall come to pass no matter what as long as God's favor is upon you hallelujah Amen. from this passage we read about the old man who loved his father his son Joseph was not necessarily. Joseph was the last born. Yes. If you follow this, this story, you will realize that Benjamin was younger than Joseph. But the old man loved Joseph more than all of his sons. Because when you are loved, there is favor that is attached to the land. And it doesn't matter whether you are a firstborn or whether you are a middleborn or you are the lastborn. But as long as the favor of God is upon you, good things will follow you no matter what. It does not matter whether you go through the pit, but you must know and realize that the plan of God will come to pass no matter what. You know, a pit it resembles the following. This is better A bad story. They are perfect to see a good thing. When everything happens to you, when you lose a father, when you lose a mother, when you lose a family, when you lose a job, you go through this lowest bit of your life. You will feel as if everything in life has just crashed. I want to tell you this morning. You are just going through the pit. God's plan about your life you will come to pass no matter what. As long as you move with the favor of God. God's favor will locate you wherever you may be. I want to challenge you this morning. You are just going through the pit. This is the lowest point of your life. You are going through this dungeon of peace. But you must know that the people of God about me will come to pass no matter what. One thing that I noticed this young man was moving with the favor of the Lord. You might be born by your mother. You are in the middle of the middle. You might be born by your mother. You are the last one. Favor and Zim give up to Mora and Come and Look to your people. You are picked not because you are better. You are picked because God has purposed you. Not because you are a better person. Not because you are holier than all of your brothers and sisters. But because God's favor is upon your head. God will locate you so that his plan can come to pass. Some of you, you will very evil. You will 
very pity. Mutimari. Now thou you are since be a scarlet. They shall be white as snow. Thou they be red like crimson. They shall be like moon. God take us out of the sea. Because he purposed us, not because we are better. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Are we going together? You might have lost your house. You might have lost your spouse. You might have lost your parent. You are just going through the pit. I want to assure you this morning it is not the end of the world. God promises, God plans, will still come to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The issue was not about the coat. The issue was not about the coat. The issue was about the meaning of the coat. These brothers, people like Mojuda, they were jealous. But if you are jealous, you are doomed. Yeah. You don't want any other person to have better things than what you have. When someone comes with a better dress to the church, you become angry. When one buys a better car, you are sad. When you are sad, you are jealous and to kill you. A jealous person. He sees good things as bad things. Good things are bad to him. The brothers did not know 
Write this down. You may take my coat. You may take my coat. But you cannot take my favor. You can take my coat. But if God's favor is upon me, God's favor will locate me no matter what. So the brothers encourage one another, they said, Let us take his coat. Little did they know that they are taking his coat, but they are not taking his anointing. The anointing is not rested upon the coat, the anointing is rested upon an individual. They thought that they are done with him. Yeah. Then they agreed amongst themselves. They said, let us take his coat. Little did they know that they are opening the flat gate of heaven. So that the blessings can follow him no matter what. The peace will never stop the plan of God. It doesn't matter. Whether your children behave badly, whether your husband behaves badly, the peace, the peace will never stop the favor of God. God will follow you in the wilderness. People will be surprised. But this man is walking in a pit. If he's down, he's in the pit. The name of God is still following him. The man is walking in the pit. But God plans unfolding. God's plan can never get frustrated. As if that be. But the faith of God, yes. the favor of God, as long as the favor of God can still locate you, you are married to me, be crumbling. Do not worry about the marriage, Don't worry about the favor of God. If God's favor is upon you, you will prosper no matter what. Let me tell you. Say, I am people, I keep it in love, but to pass you for now. If God doesn't go as far as I am a people, I vote in you in the bar too. But it does not go according to the majority decision. I simply go with what God is saying about you. It's simply about the time of the world. You will prosper when people like it or not. But the very There are other prayers that didn't demand the jealousy. The God doesn't listen to them. God did not listen to God. You are just wasting your energy. You are just wasting your venom. You are just wasting your venom. Whatever you do, you are just wasting your venom. Whatever you do, you are just wasting your venom. Whatever you do, you are just wasting your venom. Whatever you do, you are just wasting your venom. Whatever you do, you are just wasting your venom. Whatever you do, you are just wasting your venom.
know this suit that I'm wearing. So I bought it. This is not a tailor-made suit. I am not a When I bought this suit, the trouser was big. I had to cut it. The jacket was a bit big. big. The jacket was also a bit big. I had to size it. But in one of my suits, which I did not buy. Which was tailor-made. When they tailored the suit, they measured the size of my legs. They measured the size of my stomach. They measured the size of my chest. And when I put it on, there is no need to adjust it. So when the same of God you know, if I'm wearing this suit, if I give it to Mr. Murava, Mr. Murava will be having an oversized jacket, an oversized trouser, but it will provide the favor of the Anzimu. Oh, wow, wow, wow. 